Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we are discussing the visa conversion process and we're discussing the prospects of dealing with visa conversion going into 2022. Now, what are we talking about when we talk about conversion? Well, we're talking about you're in one visa status, for example, a tourist visa and you may get a job in Thailand, or you may decide to start a company, a business, whatever, and now you need to get into business visa and work permit status. Well, in the past, sort of prior to March 2020, when they promulgated the new emergency decree, it was kind of a known quantity. You really had to leave Thailand, get a visa, do sort of a visa run to an embassy in the region, get a new business visa, come in, and then you're in status. Well, due to exigent circumstances with sort of COVID in the background, where we, had, we just had these unprecedented events that caused Thailand to be shut down effectively and international travel to be exceptionally cumbersome compared to times past. On top of that, immigration authorities were vested with certain discretionary powers that they don't normally have. We saw quite a number of conversions, comparative numbers compared to times in the past. You know, We saw quite a larger amount of numbers of conversions from about March 2020 onward. Now, going into 2022, presuming things continue to improve and we can sort of finally go back to some semblance of normal, you know, it stands to reason that travel is gonna be more opened up. And as a result, the sort of exigent need to convert, like the background where, hey, it's not really easy to come and go from Thailand, that is probably gonna dissipate. We're probably gonna see that kind of fade away. And as a result of that, I can definitely see immigration, immigration's paradigm their, with respect to their policy, at least their current sort of temporary policy on being a little more lenient on conversion, I can see that going away. I can definitely see that being a major possibility in 2022 where they say, hey, look, you know, we're just not going to do conversions like we were doing them before because, again, our overarching policy is if you're on a non-immigrant visa, you should leave the country, get a new visa, and come back in and maintain your status that way. I could see this happening. You know, the events will unfold as they do, and they will likely drive what ends up happening in the immigration apparatus. And we will certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves. 